Next up, we're going to write our schema markup. Schema markup is essentially code that we're going to provide to search engines like Google so they can understand the content of your site. Fortunately, there's tools we can use so that we don't actually have to write the code ourselves. We can just put in some data and it'll print out the code for us. We'll copy and paste it into the site and it's that easy. So, in your Wix editor, on the left hand sidebar, go to pages and menu. And then on your home page, we need to go to the advanced SEO settings. So go to SEO basics. And then one tap over is advanced SEO. And then here you'll see structured data markup. So if we open that accordion menu, it's going to give us some options here. And we're going to add new markup. Now, it's going to ask us for the name, and we'll say this is business schema markup. And it says write your markup in JSON format. Now if we click this little I, this little information icon here, it offers a tool we can use to generate our code. So we're going to click that, we're going to go to the markup generator, and it's going to take us here to technicalseo.com, and then ask us which kind of schema markup we want to create. So we're going to create schema markup for a local business, and then we're going to give the local business at type of local business because they don't have a specific one for personal training. And we're just going to work through and fill out all these fields. So the name is Leslie Adams Personal Training. The image URL you can get from your media library. So back in the Wix editor, if you go to media and then open up an image, let's see what we got. Maybe use this one. In the sidebar here under file info, you can grab that URL right here. So copy the URL. And come back and put that image URL in there. That's the image that's going to represent your business. So you could use your logo or a picture of your location, whatever you want to do. And then the at ID URL and the URL can be the same. They can just be your actual website URL. Drop your phone number in there, business phone. Your price, so how expensive it is, $1 sign, $2 signs, $10 signs. Fill out this location information. Then we can add opening hours, so I'll just say open 24-7. Add your your social media links. All right, and let's see. So it looks like we've filled out all the information. So now we can copy this, jump back to our markup, or the field where we put the markup, advanced SEO, structured data markup. Then we can write that name in again. Copy and paste this, and boom. Now our schema data is in there, so Google's going to have an easier time understanding what your business is, and then displaying that um, displaying that information as a rich result. So something that's not necessarily in the main search results, but on the sidebar where it's telling it's giving you more specific information. So I just googled Barack Obama just so you can see this. Here is some of his rich results. This is a rich result. It has an about section. Um, it looks probably like it's pulled from Wikipedia or something with his birthday and family and social media profiles and also searched for. Now yours would obviously look different because yours would be a business, probably, but this is what a rich result is. So it'll pop up here on the right-hand sidebar or also here. This is also a rich result. It's just a kind of search engine result that's not just a standard organic search link. So that's all you have to do to add schema markup to your site. We've checked another box and let's keep going.